You know, it's amazing that when you get a little trouble in your life, <clears throat> how quickly you find God. Find Him. In James, we've been reading about, it says, um, count all joy when you what? Fall. 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 And I remember preaching on this and getting it horribly wrong. And my dad, in the only the way my dad can, and in front of everybody, preaches it again, but does it the right way. It lets me stand and listen. It was really, really fun. James, uh, James chapter 1, verses 1 through 8. We've been through this a lot. I don't know if we'll go through all of it today because there's something else on my mind too. We're just going to trust the Lord to bring out what He wants. <coughs> James, the servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. My brethren, count it all joy when ye what? Fall. Fall. Now that in and of itself doesn't make sense. Count it all joy when you escape. Count it all joy when you avoid. Count it all joy when you recognize and don't have to fall. No, it doesn't say that. Count it all joy when you what? Fall. Fall. Into what? Diverse temptations. Now this is just counter intuitive. Doesn't make any sense. Why am I going to count it all joy when I have made an Ooh, I almost said a bad word. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I going to count on you? Hanging out with us too long. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ingrates. Potty mouth. Yes. Count on joy when I have made a jerk of myself. <laughs> made a donkey of myself. Right? <laughs> Why? Why does that? Why does it say that? Because there's a point to it. I remember when Paul got shipwrecked and he got bitten by the snake and he didn't die. Remember that whole mm -hmm. scenario? Mm -hmm. And the people of the island were going to make him a god. They were going to ask for sacrifice. And what does he do? He rents his clothes and he says, Wait, I'm a man of like passion as you are. See, when we fall into diverse temptations, it reminds us of something very important that a lot of self-righteous people forget. They're human. They're sinners, just like they were when they accepted Christ. The nature that they came to God with in this flesh didn't change. It's still there. Oh, you can cover it up. You can pretty it up. And you can be just like the Pharisees that were whitewashed sepulchers. But the truth of the matter is that your nature is just as evil today as it was then. That's why you need Jesus. And we, when we fall into diverse temptations, it reminds us, right, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh what? Patience. Patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire. And what's the next part? Wanting, Wanting nothing. nothing. Wanting what? Nothing. nothing. The process of getting to wanting nothing is you fall and your faith is tried. Let's go to Romans <coughs> chapter 5. This is all repetitive. I was reading a, a funny little thing in the email, and, and it was one of those you know, political correctness type jokes. And it says, when your wife is nagging you, you don't call it nagging. You call it, you say she's verbally repetitive. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm being verbally repetitive here. <laughs> Romans chapter 5, First. Um, verses 3 through 5. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also. Again, a statement that makes what? No sense. Joy and I count joy when I fall. All right, that makes no sense. Count it, and we count it joy when we we glory in tribulation. I I don't. These things seem very very counterintuitive to what what I would have expected. It's just the air or angels coming in. I don't know which. We'll take either one. All right, and not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation worketh what? Patience. There's that word again. Patience. Here it goes on a little further. Patience does what? Experience. Experience breeds what? Hope. 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 And hope maketh not a shame. Who knows what this word of shame means? Not disappointed. It means you won't be disappointed. How many times have you put confidence in a thing and been disappointed? Oh, my 401. <laughs> Your 401. Yes. Ooh, right? Yours. <laughs> <laughs> right? How many, I mean, just look today. If now we are not in a time. That tells us that our confidence cannot be in the things of this world. Amen. I had a conversation with a gentleman the other day, and it's been plaguing me. And 
And the Lord's actually been showing me a few things out of that conversation, and it's been a, it's been a big light bulbs for me personally. But this gentleman has confidence in things of this world. How's that working for him? Well, in his mind, it's working great. In his mind, he's got everything covered. In his mind, you know, he's been Joseph. But here's his little trick. Why was Joseph put in that position? To save the church. To save his family. Mm -hmm. Joseph wasn't put in that position to hoard it all for himself. Joseph was put in that position exclusively, not even to save Egypt. No. Mm -hmm but to save Abraham and his brothers and sisters. He was put there so that he would be in a position to save his family. A little bit of grace just fell on Egypt. <laughs> Not judge his family. Save his family. Joseph's confidence wasn't in his 20% he put away. Joseph's confidence was where? In God. In God. And when it was obvious to him the purpose, which he didn't even know, here's Joseph living his life. Hey, guys, he's out in the field. You guys are going to bow down and worship me. Isn't that cool? <laughs> that's what he said. Yeah, uh, yeah that's, a, that's great. We like that. By the way, here's this hole. <laughs> here's a nice hole for you. And uh, we don't like you, so instead of killing you, which we really like to do, we'll just sell you into slavery. Count all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. We glory in tribulations also. Know that tribulation worketh patience. Patience is something don't ever pray for. No. <laughs> don't ever do it. Because the way you get it is through what? Tribulation. tribulation. Look, Jesus already said in the world you'll have tribulation. You ain't got to pray for patience. <laughs> you're going to get it. And you're going to need it. <laughs> you're going to get it. But here's the cool thing. Patience goes experience. You know, there was a certain point in Joseph's walk where he <clears> learned <throat> he can trust God. He was all in years in jail. It could have been. I mean, <laughs> you look at a kid thrown into, thrown into slavery at, in his teens, pops out of jail at, what, 30, yeah. and gets put in second in command of the whole known world. I'm telling you, that just doesn't look right on paper. <clears throat> I mean, on paper, that's just not how you do it. You got to go to college, and you got to, you know, you got to work your way up through the political system, and you got to be, you know, the right pedigree, and all. Joseph, it was God. But he, God, well, it was through all those things. He had to go through the crash course. You see what I'm saying? All those trials and tribulations he went through were a crash course to get him ready to be in a position to save his family. That's right. See, we get so hung up on the little tribulations, which is where I started. How many times do we find ourselves in a bad place and what to do for us? It reminds us, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> I gotta pray, or I gotta seek the Lord, or I gotta get my attitude straight, or I gotta get my heart straighter. You know, it, the whole point of that trouble is to get us refocused on Jesus. Amen? Amen. You know, a lot of times we make our own problems. Joseph, in a way, made his own problems. Hey, guys, you're going to bow down and worship me. Look, he's already like low guy on the totem pole. That's not how you start that conversation. But yet, what happened? It was all the hand of God. It's all the hand of God. All the hand of God as a kid, that one day he would be in a place to save his family. I think that's right. awesome. Yeah. When I think you, that's awesome. When you understand what that experience is, it opens up a whole new meaning on that whole passage. There. So we look here, patience experience. You know what you know the experience you gain? You can trust God. That's it. That's right. Doesn't matter what the problem is. Doesn't matter what the circumstances, doesn't matter what you're <coughs> staring at. One, he's already been through it. He's already conquered it. And you can trust him. I don't care what it is. You can trust him. At the beginning of this year, I was looking at bankruptcy. You know what I learned? I could trust God. Yeah. <laughs> Still got a mountain of debt. You know what I learned? You can trust God. That's right. I can trust God. That's what I know.